welcome to our weekly broadcast of the African Treasures. Here we bring to you African arts, culture and music. We also discuss issues of concern to people of the African descent in America, the Caribbean, South America, Africa and all over the world. We invite you to come and see Africa in a positive light. So stay tuned and tell your friends to do the same. Welcome again to African Treasures. I'm Dr. Michael KK, your host. As I've always said on this show, um, the purpose of this show is to uh, uh, showcase African arts, culture, music, and dance, and also discuss issues that concern people of the African descent all over the world. And it's not, we're not just talking about Africa, we're talking about people of African descent in uh, South America, in Africa, uh, in uh, the Caribbean and all over the world. And um, we've done shows that uh, cover uh, countries all over the world uh, where uh, people of African descent are, are present. And today we are going to take a journey to the country of uh, Trinidad and Tobago um, at, at the northern tip of South America. And my guest is Ms. Stephanie Johnson. Thank you for uh, having me. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, can you please introduce yourself? I'm Stephanie Johnson. I'm here on a trade and investment mission. It is headed by our mayor of Port of Spain, Murchison Brown, Mayor Murchison Brown. We have a delegation of seven people, and we're here to do the exchanges with the city of Atlanta. So you're here visiting? We are visiting. And when you talk about Port of Spain, you're talking about the capital city Port of... Port of Spain is the capital of Trinidad and Tobago. Because it's some of our viewers have not been to Trinidad. To Trinidad and Tobago. And I haven't either. Oh. But I'd love to go. Yeah, well, you're invited to come next year, and we'll talk about that shortly. Okay. But Trinidad and Tobago is position, the, our position. We are the most southern islands of the Caribbean. Okay. We're 22 miles east of the Venezuelan coastline. I had mentioned that you are the t at the northern tip of South America. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. yes, yes. I just yes. want to know. Yes. And um, um, tell, since we're talking about uh, the people of African descent, and what population... What is the size of uh, people of African people of African descent in, in Trinidad and yeah. Tobago? Well, what percentage? Like about fifty-five percent. The majority. The majority. Are you serious? Uh, yes, the majority of, of African descent, and uh, we have uh, Chinese, mm -hmm. Syrians, yeah. Caucasians, East Indians. Now, but um, how did the? Uh, do you have an idea of how the Africans? The people of African descent found themselves there. I know a lot of people here in America, they came here, they were brought here mm -hmm. uh, from Africa, and mm -hmm. they, they mm -hmm. were turned into slaves when they came yes. here. Yes, They were not slaves in Africa. They no, were, no, they, but they, it's slaves here. Yeah, they got it's, here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's basically the same thing. When they came to the Americas, mm -hmm. you know, Trinidad and Tobago, at yes. that time, we're this part of the world, we're considered part of the Americas, so yes. to speak. So it filtered down. So it's like somewhere dropped off there. Dropped off, yes. Okay. Added to which the more wealthy people, like the poor Portuguese yes. and the Syrians, or so they brought with them their servants. Okay. Do you have an idea of? There was a, a time when they had abolition of slavery, slavery. slave trade, mm -hmm. and some uh, African Americans were. So, some of them left America to go back to uh, Africa, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. of course that's how Liberia was formed was and formed. Sierra Leone and all those places. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, do you have? Um, some population of, of Trinidad and Tobago uh, that remain. Yeah. Yes. That yes. came from America. That came from. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. And stay. That's why the majority of our population yes. is of African descent. Okay. You know. Now, because Trinidad and Tobago is a free spirited country, and even from then, with right. the abolition of slavery, there was like festivals and jubilation. Right. You right. know, and our then governor gave us two days in which to celebrate. Celebrate. Yes. Now, well, so let me ask you this. On. Wherever you find people of mixed races, mm -hmm. uh, there's usually uh, uh, one race trying to feel superior over the other. And like here in America, we have racism. Mm -hmm. We know that. Um, some people say it's uh, overt. Some people think, think it's covert. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have such racial tension in Trinidad? In Trinidad. Tobago, no, we're all mixed. As I say, because of the settlers we had before. We were mm -hmm. settled by French, British, Spanish, and we are all mixed. Right. As you can see from me, I'm right. pure. Uh, yeah, you know? <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at you. You, you, you have this um, uh, oriental that's mix. That's right, that's right. My great-grandfather came from Canton, China. Okay. 
So mixed with the African, we have Chinese looking people like me and we have a nickname for ourselves which is called Hakwai. Say it again. Hakwai. Hakwai. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's black and Chinese okay. mix. You know? That's so, not a bad word though. No, 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 okay. no, 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 it's not. Hakwai. Because I don't want to say Hakwai to somebody and they think I call them a uh, bad no, name. I no. don't want to do that. No, so. no, no. Well, it's an old name, mm -hmm. but in Trinidad we use it. Hakwai. Yes, okay. yeah. And um, there's a mixture of a lot of the races so mixed you, in Trinidad. You classify yourself black then? Yes. Or you consider yourself Chinese? No, mixed. If most people in Trinidad and Tobago, like 90% of the people are mixed. So actually, you don't, this 50% of, to something percent of black that you told me, most of them are really mixed. Mixed. Oh, okay. Yes, but you, out of that 50%, you probably will have about maybe 30% or so. Okay. That may be pure African descent. Did you ever go back to China? Uh, I mean, do you ever trace your uh, uh, roots back to China? I have been there, but not nev not found right. any of my roots. Okay. You know, I actually have been on vacation, <laughs> really. Okay. You know. That's interesting. But last year, uh -huh. Trinidad and, and Tobago celebrated 200 years for the arrival of Chinese no in Trinidad and Tobago, yes. And there was a big celebration, you know. Well, Talking about celebration, we're going to take a little break, uh -huh. and uh, we're going to view um, a footage yes. of Trinidad and ah. Tobago, uh -huh. and we have a, a lot to see there. And uh, so, please don't go away. Uh, my guest is Miss Stephanie Johnson uh, from uh, Porto, Spain, right? Porto, Spain, Trinidad and Trinidad Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago. We'll be right back. An urban first world environment, strategically positioned to be the best location that truly links the Americas and the Caribbean. Trinidad and Tobago, the gateway to the Caribbean, Latin America and beyond. As the most southerly in the chain of Caribbean islands, 10 kilometers off the coast of Venezuela on the South American mainland, the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago is conveniently located at the point of convergence of the Caribbean, South and Central America, with direct access to the major metropolitan centers. This naturally strategic geographical positioning south of the hurricane belt presents a world of opportunity to all. Trinidad and Tobago is a modern society famous for its music, rhythm, people, and resources. The country is the major financial center in the region with links to the world's leading financial markets. This friendly business environment with liberalized financial and trading systems has attracted an annual average of U.S. $1 billion in direct investment over the past few years, which has created a very vibrant and successful business sector. An energy and petrochemical giant in the hemisphere, Trinidad and Tobago's production and refinery operations is extensive given the wealth of oil and natural gas resources. This valuable asset has been the genesis of economic gain and is a contributing factor in the country attaining the status of having the second highest direct U.S. foreign investment per capita in the Caribbean and Latin America. Its efficient and reliable utilities and high quality services are available at a lower cost than in most countries in the Western Hemisphere, thus making it the ideal nexus of regional and hemisphere level development. In addition to its ideal location, Trinidad and Tobago has some of the most modern ports of international rating. These facilities have won international and regional awards for their standards of operation. The Piaco International Airport is an FAA-certified modern world-class facility and is perfectly located and equipped to be the gateway to the Americas. The national airline BWI West Indies Airways has a perfect safety record, making travel in and out of Trinidad and Tobago safe. We are bringing the treasures of Africa from all parts of the world straight to you. Welcome again. Uh, topic is Trinidad and Tobago, uh, and my guest is Miss Stephanie Johnson. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, before we left the show, we're talking about um, celebration. Celebration, and um, let me ask you this: This is a country, Trinidad and Tobago, made mm -hmm. up of two, two islands. Two islands, right? One, two islands, one now, country. Why? 
I keep wondering, why don't they go by the name Trebego? <laughs> you know, why, why become, I mean, why go by Trinidad and Tobago? And Tobago. Yeah. Well, at home, we call ourselves Trinbegonians. Trinbegonians? Yes. Okay. But it's not an official word. Okay. You know, because we have Trinidadians, those who were born in Trinidad, uh -huh. and Tobagonians, those who were born in Tobago. But we all consider ourselves, consider ourselves a Trinidadian. Yeah. Because Trinidad is the main country. Right. Trinidad, you do a lot of commerce businesses. Tobago is our leisure spot. Why is it so important for them to maintain that Tobago identity? Instead of being absorbed into Trinidad, that and becomes Trinidad, Trinidad. or become tri, uh, tri, Tobago, Tobago Trinidad. Right. No, because no. It, it seems that the unity is not quite solid. That's no, what no, it no. suggests. No, 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 not at all. It has been for a long time now the country Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. And as I say, um, Trinidad is our commercial area and Tobago yeah. our leisure spot. Okay. You know? Um, but it is really one country. We right. carry one flag. We okay. have one prime minister, one president. What's the language? English. The official language is English. English. Okay. English. Okay. But we have the older heads who would speak what we call patois, okay. which is French handed down right. from generation. Uh -huh. And we do speak a bit of Spanish. Is the patois in, in Trinidad and Tobago different from the patois in Jamaica? Or is it the same patois? It's different because our patois is derived from French. I right. think the Jamaican patois is just their way of speaking yeah. that we may not understand. Because the Creole uh, spoken in, uh, in Sierra Leone is different mm -hmm. from the Creole spoken in um, Louisiana. Yes. And uh, the Pigeon English, I speak Pigeon English, mm -hmm. the, spoken in Nigeria is different from the Pigeon English spoken in Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. so, but they're called Pigeon English, that's why I was asking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what's the food? What kind of food do you all, and uh, what's the staple food in Jamaica? Staple, I mean, in Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad, in Trinidad. Trinidad. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of starches like rice, uh, rice, cassava, which I'm yeah. sure you're familiar with, ground provisions. Yes, ma'am. Ground provisions and pasta. Yes, ma'am. Right? Actually, we eat everything. As um, someone says, the only thing we do not eat is what we drink. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's a jolly, it's a jolly. <laughs> okay. So, yes. so uh, if somebody goes to... Um, takes a trip to Trinidad and Tobago, mm -hmm. what, what, what would be your advice for them? Somebody who wants to travel over there. Well, it depends on what you're looking for. You can go for leisure, you can go for business. We have both, mm -hmm. right? Um, leisure, we have the beaches, which are the, our prettier beaches are in Tobago. Mm -hmm. And we have the undersea world, like the Boko Reef. Yeah. Uh, so we have the beaches you can go to. We have a lot of entertainment. You know, we have nightlife, yeah. um, we have the life, the theaters. As a matter of fact, last night I visited your Fox Theater. Okay. So we do have... Right down the street. Yes. So we do have theaters okay. um, for entertainment as well. We have concerts. Mm -hmm. And it depends on what time of year you go. You what have, about carnival? Yeah, that's what I'm just about to say. Depends on what time of year you go. Carnival time, you have lots of concerts. Now, the carnival in... Uh, in uh, Trinidad and Tobago, how, how does it differ, f differ from the carnival in, in Brazil? Was uh, it the same thing? No, 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 no. Um, Brazil, most of the parades in the street are on floats. Okay. And they come from schools, dance schools. Okay. In Trinidad and Tobago, we have what we call mass camps. So you can have a mass camp, I can have a mass camp, and we have a designer Okay, so we have a theme, okay. and the designer would design something around that theme, so the costumes depict whatever we are playing. Let's say we are playing um, local cuisine. Right. So the designer would do something, probably crab. Okay. We eat a lot of crab. Okay. So crab and callaloo, and your costume would depict a crab. Right. Right, you may have chicken. Mm -hmm. yeah, so whatever you're playing, it depicts it. And we have mask, what we call masqueraders. Yes. So each person would have a costume parade in the street to the music. So you dance down the street to the music. So it's not an organized school as such. You come from a mass camp. Do you have a lot of tourism? Oh, that's when most of our industry? tourism, yes. And yes. you have the highest uh, tourist attraction during the carnival. At carnival time, What yes. number of people uh, descend <laughs> on country and Tobago around that time. Do you have an idea? We have like about probably 
3,000 people 3, coming people. in wow. at one time. In a, in a small island? Yes. A population of... Uh, 1.3 million. 1. So actually it's uh, smaller than uh, Atlanta Metropolis. Because Atlanta Metropolis Atlanta. is over 1.5 million. 1.5? Mm -hmm. it's, it's over that. Mm -hmm. It was uh, over a million about uh, six, seven years ago. Mm -hmm. So now it's uh, more... It's gone. And we're yeah. just as diversified as Atlanta. Trust yes, me. Yes, 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 yes. You know? um, so so uh, if, uh, if, um, if somebody comes down for the carnival, mm -hmm. where do you... Uh, do you have enough hotels for those people to stay in? <laughs> because, I mean, 3,000 We people. do. We, we have lots of hotels and we have a bed and breakfast association. Okay. So... If you do not want to stay in a hotel as such, you can stay in smaller guest houses. Yes. And these are sanctioned by an association. So you know you're staying in somewhere clean, healthy, you know, and you're quite safe. It's safe. Yes. Because I was going to yes. ask you about safety. No, no, no. We have uh, safety at Carnival Time is top priority because okay. of the amount of visitors. Right. We have. And our, even for our nationals, they have to be safe when parading in the streets. Right. You right, know? Right. So the police and the regiment forces are out, out there doing their jobs. Okay. Well, uh, Ms. Johnson, it's time for break again. So we're going to take a little uh, station break and um, we'll, we'll watch some footage of and maybe carnival. see some carnival yes. thing going on. And right, uh, please don't go away. We'll be right back with Miss Stephanie uh, telling us about her country, Trinidad and Tobago. Home to 1.3 million people of every race, religion, and ethnicity, Trinidad and Tobago has become a repository of skill, talent, history, and cultures. Its rich heritage rooted in the colonial presence of the Spanish, French, and English, coupled with a large influx of West African and East Indian peoples, and the additional arrival of Syrians, Lebanese, Chinese, among others, makes Trinidad and Tobago the most racially and culturally diverse society in the hemisphere. The beauty of this rainbow society is reflected best in what has been described as the most important and characteristic national festival, Trinidad and Tobago Carnival, the mother of all West Indian-styled carnivals. Internationally renowned, Trinidad and Tobago Carnival is a feverish season of activity, culminating in two days of absolute splendor, played out on the streets by tens of thousands of locals and visitors. And as a result, one of the leading enticements for approximately 400,000 arrivals annually. Trinidad and Tobago enjoys a high standard of living comparable to some of the leading countries in the hemisphere. A U.S. multi-million dollar merchandising export and import trade. Targeted duty-free concessions on raw materials. Machinery equipment supports a multi-billion dollar local manufacturing sector. There is an enormously wide range of shopping, entertainment and leisure. One cannot fall in love with that which they don't know. So remember to tune into African Treasures Weekly. And keep in mind, to love Africa is to know Africa. Welcome to the last segment of this wonderful episode where uh, Ms. Stephanie Johnson is telling us about her wonderful country, Trinidad and Tobago. Welcome yes. again. Thank you, Dr. Cookie. Yes, um, we are talking about, um, I want you to tell us a little bit about uh, the carnival that's going to take place next year and where uh, a How trip from in? Atlanta, people from Atlanta are going to come to uh, Port of Spain. To Port of Spain. Yes. Well, one of the reasons we are here, our contingent headed by our mayor, um, is to invite people from Atlanta to come down. We are celebrating this year the 20th anniversary of our sister cities, Atlanta and Trinidad and Tobago. The state of Georgia, I should say, in Trinidad and Tobago, we are celebrating 20 years of being sister cities. Okay. And to celebrate, we have invited our sister city to come to Trinidad next year to celebrate Carnival with us. And what would that involve? We have, entail. entail, we have already arranged, booked hotel rooms for you to stay. Mm -hmm. And with the airline, we are trying to arrange an airfare. So when you come down, you're going to play mass in our band. We have a specific costume 
for you designed. Um, it's synonymous with the waving girl. Now, you know? I've seen, now I've seen those costumes. Now they almost wear nothing. <laughs> because I want you going to be dressed like Atlanta people. Say, no, no. These no. are dignified people now. We don't want them. No, 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 no. We have political costumes. opponents <laughs> using against them. <laughs> No, we have costumes appropriate okay. for our visitors, and we have it synonymous with the waving girl, so you could relate it to it. Do you know the waving girl in the Savannah state? Okay. Okay, so it's synonymous with the waving girl and the phoenix, which is a symbol for Atlanta. Okay. So you're going to have your costumes, put it on, play in our band. And we have also arranged to have a special banner. You know, so when you parade and you go down the street, and especially at the judging points, you will get honorary mention. This is a contingent from Atlanta. How many? First time coming to play mass in Trinidad. How long? How many days? Uh, two days. Two, two days full of, days. Two full days of, uh, uh, of parade in the street. Explosive enjoyment. Yes, it's wow. infectious. So, please. <laughs> Okay, I've seen, I've, I've watched, I watched a video of uh, the carnival and it's electrifying, I'll tell you. It's uh -huh. electrifying and um, uh, I wonder if those people will ever catch cold. No, they, not at all, not at all. Is always you have lots of fuel. Oh, you've got... <laughs> <laughs> it gives that. you energy and warmth. Oh, okay, now uh, the, 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 the uh, weather there is always warm, right? Always, 85 very close degrees. To the Yes, you're yeah. south of the equator. South so of the equator. So when it's winter here, it's summer there. Yeah. Of well, course, we have, have summer, summer all year round. We have two seasons: yeah. the rainy season, yeah. which is coming to an end sometime uh, around the end of November month, yeah, uh -huh. and we have the dry season. Okay. Uh, so it is also in my country, Nigeria. Mm, right, we have yes. two seasons. We, it's never. We, it's I've never, never seen cold. snow in my life until I left Nigeria and went to Britain. Mm -hmm, That's the first mm -hmm. time I saw snow in my life. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everywhere was white. I was wondering what was going on. <laughs> yeah. The coldest we probably get might be about, let's say, 18, 20 degrees. Now, let me ask you this for people who might be interested in uh, coming down uh, to. To Trinidad and Tobago for, mm -hmm. for the carnival. Mm -hmm. Do you, uh, what's the airfare like? It's about eight to nine hundred US dollars return. Okay. Does it, um, uh, the, the, uh, just around the carnival time? Mm -hmm. But what, when is the cheapest time to, to, uh, uh, to come? come yeah. um, for the airfare? Let's see, between, con um, between March and July. Oh, really? And then between September and November. Our so low around this season. time? Yes. So yes. what would the fare be around this time? About $500. No kidding? No, actually even less. Like and hotels are usually cheaper. Hotels are cheaper, yes. Yeah. Now, Christmas to Carnival, that's mm -hmm. our peak season. Yeah. So Carnival begins, let's say, from Boxing Day, the day after Christmas Day, yeah. and ends the day before Ash Wednesday. You have to explain Boxing Day, because America doesn't understand <laughs> Boxing Day. <laughs> I think I'll punch you. Yeah, in the Nigeria, day we'll after, do Boxing Day. The day after Christmas right, Day. Right, it's the Boxing Day. Yes. Okay. Now, Kamai, um, what is... Let me uh, take us a little bit to uh, the economy, mm -hmm. the economy of uh, Trinidad and Tobago. What is the economy uh, dependent on? Oil and gas and Oil. stuff like that? Oil. Um, we are the Natural largest resources? exporter of methanine and urea. Really? Yep. And we have gas, we have okay. our um, asphalt. So it's know? rich? Yes. Yes, and we have a lot of other, lot to offer other than those natural resources. Now, now if it's rich, if the, if the country is rich with all those resources, uh, why would anybody want to leave Tobago and go, uh, go elsewhere? Because I see people from Trinidad and Tobago uh, here, in, um, here in America. Yes. And if it's that beautiful and rich mm -hmm. and stuff, why would anybody experience want to leave To experience a different culture. We have various reasons, some for further education, mm -hmm. even though we have two universities, yes. right? There may be some course or some um, discipline you want to go into that yes. is not offered at home. Yeah. So a lot of people migrate for, immigra for education purposes. Okay. Now, you do, do, do you have a lot of people coming into Trinidad and Tobago to, to live and uh, seek permanent visas and uh, yes. naturalize and stuff like that? Yes, Is the immigration do. law a little open there? It's open. Particularly to the, what we call CARICOM countries, there are um, other islands in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. We have this unified unity that is called CARICOM. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're all within this body and you visit and you come and we are open. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I don't know, are you familiar with OPEC? 
-hmm. is, is Venezuela part of the, I mean, uh, Trinidad is Trinidad and Tobago, Tobago part mm -hmm. of the OPEC nation? Mm -hmm. Are you all? Yeah. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My country is too. It Nigeria is. is. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, um, uh, if, what, what type of currency do you all use? Trinidad and Tobago dollars. We have oh, our own currency. TT dollars. TT, ah, you're familiar with it. <laughs> <laughs> I just made that up. I didn't know it was TT yes, dollars. Yes, yes, TT dollars. What's the value of the, uh, TT dollar to American to dollar? To one American dollar, it's about $6.30 Trinidad and Tobago dollars to T one U.S. dollar. Why? So when you come down, you're rich. I know, but <laughs> I would expect uh, an economy with uh, all, all that kind of resources to be stronger. Stronger. Maybe even higher than the American than dollar. Than the American. No, well, you know the American dollar, as with the pound, yeah. very powerful. Right. You know? But six is pretty high. Six is, yes. Jamaican. At one time, we were like four, four dollars. Yeah, the Jamaican one. dollar is even lower than that. Oh, yeah. You get like about 66 Jamaican dollars oh, yeah. to, to one U.S. To dollar. US dollar. Mm -hmm. That's great. Mm -hmm. So, um, are you ever coming to America to stay? No. Why should I leave beautiful Trinidad That's and Tobago? That's why I keep asking. I, I, <laughs> I, would come, I would come to America, yes. Yeah. I would visit. There are opportunities here. What are job opportunities in... Uh, let me ask you. Job opportunities in Trinidad, in Trinidad and Tobago. And Tobago. Um, we are open to lots of businesses. Um, there's the marine business that you can come into. Mm -hmm. We have the fishery. We okay. do lots of processing and exporting of fish. Oh. There's, um, we have our new university. It's a technological center you can go to. For we people who want to teach, can they come in there? Yes, like we have a teacher's college, teacher's training What's college. What's salary like? An average salary. I'm not planning to come. <laughs> so I'm, just, I'm just asking because some of our viewers might want to. I was talking to somebody yesterday when I told her that I'm coming, that Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago will be on my show today. Mm -hmm. They said, Oh, I love to go there. I want to be an English teacher. I mm -hmm. said, Okay, well, so let me there ask you. There is the opportunity. Yes, she can. Okay. Yes. So, so what's the salary? Like? Uh, so average, the average, average salary will be about three, Since, four thousand dollars a month. Say with a bachelor's degree. Um, Probably about ten thousand. Ten thousand a month. Yeah. So you divide, up, you divide that by six to get the U.S. equivalent. Um, okay, you can get like about fifteen to eighteen hundred dollars a yeah. month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It may not seem much I don't know here. What make here. It may not seem so. seem much here, but yes. when you come home, uh -huh. you know, a salary of ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month, you can live fairly comfortable. Because the cost of living is not as high. No, as no, it is. it's not. And we do a lot of our own planting, right? Backyard right. gardening. Uh -huh. Okay. You know. Well, Miss Stephanie Johnson, I want to thank you for coming to African Treasures, and. Um, uh, I hope this show air, you play it on um, the, the, the TV station in Trinidad. If you would allow me, yes. Yes, sure. uh, we'll make yes. arrangement for that. Certainly. We'll talk to our um, production department and mm -hmm. see what happens. Mm -hmm. But I want to thank you for coming by. And uh, hopefully we'll see you at the carnival, the carnival next year. Well, thank you for yes. having me. And you're officially invited <laughs> <laughs> well, thank to you. come play with us. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. Uh, with this, we'll bring this uh, show to a conclusion. And thank you for allowing us to come into your homes. Thank you for watching. And please join us again next week at the same time as we continue to share with you the treasures of Africa.